Partners for Competitive Workforce serves the tri-state area of Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. They serve three wo strong workforce partners, the Health Careers Collaborative of Greater Cincinnati, Advanced Manufacturing Career Pathways, and the Construction Career Pathways. A recent strategic planning process completed a strategic um, resulted in the creation of an expanded collaboration partnerships for the competitive workforce for the tri-state area. Their efforts included supporting the launch of employers' first regional workforce network, in which four workforce boards that serve the tri-state region formalize a 10-year-old partnership to coordinate workforce services for employees. The first project was to create training portal to assist regional employers in locating training and provide support to local colleges and make graduation more accessible and easy. Would the Partners for Competitive Workforce Director, Ross Meyer, please come forward and accept this award. Come on up. <laughs> So uh, it was a little bit cumbersome to have, you know, 20 people join us on stage, but we really wanted to reiterate the message that this is all about partnerships, right? So. <laughs> so thank you. Um, so if, if you're not already tired by hearing about Cincinnati, uh, because I am, and it's not even been an hour, um, it is a good moment for us. For those of you in the Midwest, you know, our modesty often uh, prevents us from trumpeting, you know, good work that we're doing. So this is a moment that we're going to take and celebrate. So um, what I want to do very briefly is share with you, I think, some of the, the key uh, kind of learnings from us and the three factors are, of our success. And first and foremost is our partners, um, our leaders, and our employers. Um, I want to be very clear. The success that we've had is due to the strength of our partners, and that's that's been really powerful for us. Um, we have had a tremendous benefit of having tremendous partners in our community from employers who are really willing to step up uh, and provide leadership for the benefit of their companies and their community, to our four workforce boards who have done tremendous work over the last decade to really serve employers better and serve job seekers better, um, to our community colleges and our career tech schools who have for many years worked hard to meet employer needs and tailor their curriculum to be responsive, um, to our chambers of commerce who really work to connect their members to the workforce system, um, to our deeply committed community-based organizations, a couple on the stage here who really do the hard work every day of getting people ready for work and supporting them along the pathway, um, of course, of our funders who have really prioritized in this community workforce development as key for us to really grow out of this recession as a community, and of course, our, our phenomenal Health Careers Collaborative, who's not only been a model for us as a community, but has really become a national model. So I want to make it very clear that our success and the progress that we've made is due uh, to these outstanding partners, and I want you to join me in congratulating all of them. <laughs> Second, uh, we simply would not be where we are today if it weren't for some of our outstanding leaders, uh, from Kathy Merchant of the Greater Cincinnati Foundation, who really provided key leadership in the beginning to convene our effort about four years ago, uh, to Rob Reifsnyder of United Way, has really helped us guide our work to a new direction and really position us for greater impact. Uh, to John Prout, of course, our chairman, who's really helped us as we launch Partners for a Competitive Workforce as our next uh, phase of work, provided outstanding leadership. Uh, to some of our other corporate leaders, like Pete Strange of Messer Construction, who's been a champion for workforce for decades and provided excellent guidance. Some of our other corporate leaders um, have been outstanding models. So th these leaders have been absolutely critical, and we, on behalf of all the partners, want to thank you for your leadership. Finally, uh, none of this simply could happen without our tremendously dedicated employers. I want to especially thank the employer chairs of our three uh, career pathway partnerships, Darla Olson and Jenny Skinner of TriHealth, who I think will be here this afternoon, uh, Scott Ellsworth of Tipco Punch, um, Liza Smitherman of Johnston Construction, and we also have some of our other employers, uh, Rick, is that for you? Rick Jordan with LSI Industries. Uh, these folks, as well as many, many other employers who've really dedicated them, themselves to this work and kept us really firmly focused on meeting employers' needs, um, have been transformative in our process. So thank you especially to our employers. <laughs> 
And of course, of course, thank you, of course, to the National Fund. Um, the National Fund really played a catalytic role uh, about four years ago um, that provided a catalyst for us to really build on a lot of the successes in our community and helped us go a lot further faster. So thank you again, and I hope you enjoy your time in Cincinnati.